Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I have a large coloring book haul. These are all from Amazon and they are all to do with cats and or kittens. No, I did not buy these all at the same time. I've just been kind of collecting them over on the side of my desk until I received quite a number of them and I don't anticipate really buying any more unless something catches my fancy. But I thought we would go through these. Now I'm going to flip through them kind of fast because we do have a number of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books. Eight kitty and cat coloring books. So let's look at them. First one is Teacup Kittens by Kaomi. Kaomi. Uh, it's by Design Originals. Kaomi Hara. Hara. H A R A I. So it's K-A-Y-O-M-I and then H-A-R-A-I. And I just thought this looked so adorable. So this is the front cover. And then on the back it says, have a cup of cuteness. Um, there's nothing as sweet as a cute little kitty gazing at you with her big brown eyes. And then it goes on to tell you, um, you know, about the book a little bit. So... All right, so let's look at this. Oh, we have some full color pictures inside here. And it has some pictures of her actual cats. Oh, and some sample, uh, some sample artwork that you could get uh, some ideas from. It says, look for a future book on my fun 365 cats project with a different expressive kitty face for every day of the year. <laughs> oh, isn't that one cute? <sighs> and then here it talks about the artist herself. She grew up in Osaka, Japan. And she now lives in San Jose, California. Hmm. Okay, here it talks about her art style. Then it goes through the color chart, different ways of coloring the kitties. Oh, this is really nice. You can tell I haven't looked at this. It goes through basic coloring techniques, some backgrounds that you could put in your pictures. This one talks about um, pastels. Oh, look at the coloring incentives. Are these not cute? Oh my gosh. So this one is with colored pencils and watercolor. This is on page 33, Ange Angelic Feline. And then on the top, Make Your Wish. This is on page 65. So she even gives you what page this particular kitty's on in case you want to use that for inspiration. And then it says where all these are on to. Oh, look at the butterfly one, or the ladybug one. Oh, is that not cute for Halloween? Oh, you have an adorable Christmas one, another Christmas one. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> oh my heavens. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, wow. Oh. The butterfly one. Ah, so she must give uh, color inspirations, you know, a colored inversion for every picture in the book. Oh my gosh. Another Halloween one. Oh, oh my gosh. I, oh, this is definitely cuteness overload. <laughs> So here we go. This is very, uh, very, very smooth paper. The ones that are um, colored for you already. And then this one has, uh, the coloring pages themselves have more tooth. So if you do use colored pencils on here, it would work fine. Now they are single sided. So you could use alcohol markers. But it does have like a saying on the back. There's a quote. And then it does give you some lines down here so you could write down, you know, maybe your name, the date, maybe what you used, things like that. This one is Wish Upon a Star. And then we have the Ladybug one. You see there is some grayscale in here too. 
So that's kind of nice. It's kind of both. We have just the plain, and then we also have the kitty bean grayscale. So that one was called Kitty in Red. Here's some more ladybugs. That one is Ladybug. Oh, And that one is Cozy Kitties. <laughs> Caterpillar. An apple and kitten a day. <laughs> the fish. Oh my gosh, this book is so cute. Fishing Buddies. Winged Wonder. <laughs> Cuties Reedy. A good book. Super pale tints of colors create a gorgeous soft feel. So right on this same page, she gives you some color inspiration to use on that one. And that one's called Angelic Feline. Here's the Halloween one. And again, gives you the color palette you can even use to recreate that. It says, don't be afraid of dark, bold colors, especially if the subject matter lends itself to them. So that one was called Boo Kitty. Create a physical scene that's not present in the black and white art by simply using blue for a sky and green for land. So that's how she added a background to this one. Now, while it's nice that she gives this on the bottom, you know, you don't have your full... Uh, picture anymore and let me see something oh yeah this is perforated <laughs> so you can you can tear this off and you can have your uh, you know I don't know if the pages themselves are yes pages are all perforated too and then this is perforated along here very cool so then you could frame that that one was called A New Friend. Oh, I love that. Remember, black is a color option, too. That one's called Cup O' Cat. A nice olive green goes well with warm oranges and golds, providing contrast without too much excitement. <laughs> that one's called Sweetness. Oh, here's the Christmas one. That one's called Christmas Joy. Uh, Kit Kat in the backpack. <laughs> that one's called Adventure. Oh, look at these two. Oh my gosh. That one's called Pals in a Pail. <laughs> oh, and the Butterfly Kitty. I love the expressions on their faces, too. It says, A Flower for You. A uh, snail mail. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> Special delivery. That one was called. <laughs> that one's Kitty Pod. Here's a nice springtime picture. It's called Garden Surprise. Oh, turn it again. Another butterfly one hanging on to a chick. That one is called Sweethearts. Another Christmas kitty who's in trouble. <laughs> Cookie kitty. And that one is called Full Moon. Here we have a froggy kitty. I like this. Sir Walter Scott said, Cats are a mysterious kind of folk. There is more passing in their minds than we are aware of. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> so that one was called Froggy. And we have our birthday kitty. Oh, I love the colors they used. She used down in here. Complimentary pink and green provides strong contrast and pops of yellow add some brightness. That one is called Make Your Wish. Don't forget about white space. You don't have to color every single part of a coloring design. Yeah, I got to keep remembering that because I have a hard time doing that. That one's called Summertime Fun. Here we have the kitty in a hammock. Talks about using gray color. 
talks about try adding a halo of color around the entire picture. Here's another pretty butterfly one. Oh, look at the colors in that one. Love it. Talks about picking related colors like pink, purple, and blue violet. That one's called Cup of Spring. That one is Serenade. So there's a lot of pictures in here. That one is called Blooming Kitty. Oh, how appropriate for the last page. Last picture is Moon Bed. And again, on the back cover has inspiration pictures and what page that picture is on. Oh my gosh, is that not cute? I love it. Again, that is cuteness overload right there. Teacup kittens. Okay. Sorry, I took longer in that book than I uh, planned on, but oh, <laughs> you had to, right? Uh, then we have a Creative Haven book. This is a cat's coloring book by Marty Noble, and I love Marty Noble. So, uh, as all uh, Creative Haven books, if you're not familiar with them, most of us are, they are all single-sided and they are perforated and they're on not Amazon paper. It's it's nicer paper than Amazon. It's it's thicker and nicer. So, so let us see what pictures are in here. Oh, cute. Oh, by some, I'm assuming some puppies. Love the decorative stuff she always puts around her pictures, though. That's I love her designs and stuff. I have a number of her books. That could go in the Teacup Kitties book we just looked at. <laughs> I like the frames she puts hers in, too. Yeah, that's what a cat does most of the day, right? Uh-huh. Hmm, <laughs> that's cute. And we have some bookworms here. Oh, look at those eyes. Oh, pretty flowers. Ah, oh, with some lilies. Lots of florals with the kitties, too. And butterflies. And there's birdies up here. And the kitty wants everything. Here we have a number of kitties. Could almost see doing like a wash, you know, with uh, watercolor. You know, or watering down acrylic paint or something, doing a wash and then going over it with, with pencils. Not that I'm an expert on that, but see some more of this pattern stuff that she's so good at. Love that. My gel pen. <laughs> Aww. Anybody with a cat knows this expression too. And a kitty wanting some birds. <laughs> Kitties always look so happy, don't they? Unless you have grumpy cat. Most kitties look happy. <laughs> Sorry if I'm making you dizzy by going portrait in the landscape. That one looks really happy. That's because she looks like she's in wine country. No wonder she's happy. <laughs> oh. That is one content little kitty. <laughs> ah, just love it. That's neat with the cat walking right in front of, looks like a fan. And the other two framing it. Love that.
And I think this is our last one. Maybe not. Oop, I was wrong. Oh, oh, so cute. And here is a colored in sample. Oh, that is gorgeous. I don't know whoever does their, their sample colorings, but wow. They have some talented people. Look at that. Okay, these adorable cats. Wait, your touch of color. So again, that is Creative Haven Cats by Marty Noble. Then we have by Amanda Neal. Happy coloring, lovely cats, coloring book for adults. This is the front. And then the back cover shows you, as many of our coloring books do, shows you some samples from inside the book. So let's have a look. Here's our title page. And we get right into the book. Uh-oh. Yeah, that key's going to get in trouble. Well, double trouble, because not only is that cat going after a bird. You see what's down here, too? Getting into some of the yarn on top of it. Boy, oh boy, that is one naughty kitty. Ooh, looks like a big Persian. Oh, this could be another Halloween one, make black kitties. Although black kitties are usually pretty sleek looking and they're, they don't have this type of fur, do they? Oh, look at that, gorgeous. Uh, him or her. <laughs> I was going to say that gorgeous gal, but you don't know if it's a gal. Aww. <laughs> Aha. We all know this problem, don't we? We're coloring and they want all our pencils and bat and stuff around. Boy, we can relate to that. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Looking out the window. <laughs> More happy kitties. Mm. So cute. Mm, he looks comfy. <laughs> Looking at the bee. Oh, how are these are landscape? Ah, drinking the fishbowl water. Yeah, it amazes me how cats, you know, their balance and agility. <laughs> oh. Up in the pine tree. There's a Halloween one. <laughs> that looks comfy. Even has its own little pillow. And a Christmas one. And that is it. This is a special gift for you. Happy Coloring Compilation 2 is a free digital book. Coloring book features 13 illustrations selected from Happy Coloring Book series. Okay, to download a PDF file, you just register at this particular website. It's happycoloring.com slash free compilation number two. Okay. And then it talks about the illustrator. Talks about cats. Cats are the most common pets in Europe and North America. There are more than 70 cat breeds around the world, and their world war worldwide population exceeds 500 million. Wow! <coughs> and we thought there was a lot of dog lovers. It talks more about that, but and then talks about all the other. Uh, coloring books in this same series, which I didn't know. 
that there were. There's geometric kaleidoscope patterns. Ooh, got to look at that. And then another one, tropical forest, floral patterns, easy patterns, intricate patterns. Hmm. I'll have to look at them. Okay, so this is, again, Happy Coloring, and this one's called Lovely Cats by Amanda Neal. Then we have a large print adult coloring book. This one's called Kittens and Cats, and this is a Zen Master coloring book. Uh, if you've been coloring for a while, you have heard of Zen Master. They have a lot of books out. So here we have helpful tips for coloring page. We have a couple of color test pages. And then we get into the book. Now this feels like Amazon paper. Same with this previous one. I've had a few comments saying what the paper's like. I do believe um, this is uh, Amazon paper. <laughs> Kitty's an airplane. Oh, So yes, these are big easy type of pictures to color, large print, large scale. Something really nice and easy to color in these stressful days of ours right now. That one almost reminds me of a bear, a teddy bear. <laughs> Doesn't look like it likes its kibble. <laughs> It's like, where's my soft food? <laughs> it's like the cat that ate the canary, right? Okay, I do have to say, this is not my favorite out of them. Yes, yeah, this, this one, I guess, I'm not as keen on um, as the others. But the... The pictures themselves, I mean the kitties are cute, I guess just not quite as much up my alley. Is that like a, which ones have the folded ears, the rag dolls? Can't remember. <laughs> They're still cute though. Okay, and asking you to leave a review. Here we have a free bonus page, and it is from their uh, large print, simple, and easy mandalas coloring book for adults. Then we have one from their Butterflies and Gardens book. And again, these are all Zen Master. This one's from Dash Hounds. <laughs> And this one's from Horses, and these are all from their Large Print Simple and Easy series. And that is it. Okie dokie. Then we are on to Cute Cats. Look at these eyes. Oh. I mean, you could look at these and, you know, look how they colored them and use them in your coloring. So this is Cute Cats Coloring Book for Adults. This is by Juliana Emerson. And we have our title page that could be colored in. That's from the front cover, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, now it even lists what type of cat it is. This is a British short hair. Single sided American bobtail. Norwegian forest cat. Wow, they are gorgeous. Tabby cat. We've seen those a lot, haven't we? Brazilian short hair. Abyssinian. Abyssinian. What am I saying? Abyssinian. Ginger cat. Turkish Angora. Oh, Angoras are so beautiful. And another tabby cat. <laughs> They're so cute. 
Ooh, Anatolian cat. I haven't heard of that one. Then we have a Bengal cat. Oh, those are stunning, aren't they? Oh, I would love to have a Bengal cat. And here's another one. Mm, never heard of this either. Chausi cat, C H A U S I E. Abyssinian. Egyptian Mao. Those are gorgeous too. Oh, British short hair. Oh. <laughs> Burman cat. They're gorgeous too. I love big fluffy kitties. British short hair. American short hair. American bobtail. Singapura. So what is that? Singapura cat. Russian blue. Persian. I've always wanted a pure white Persian cat. <laughs> and I've never gotten one. But I know Persians can be some work too. So here's the Scottish fold. And that is it. It says the following section includes all the previous images in a smaller version to allow you to test the colors and techniques before proceeding to work on the larger images. Well, that is a very nice feature. So we get each of the pictures in like half size. So you can work back here before coloring the full version. So isn't that a neat idea? So it goes through all of the pictures again. So I'm not going to, you know, go through every one. But yeah, you get every single picture in half size. That is cool. And then it says a special gift for you. And again, Compilation 2 is a free digital book. So this again is by Happy Coloring. Okay. Then we have Cats and Flowers. This is illustrated by Eva mm, Carrier, C-A-R-R-I-E-R-E, -R -R -E -R -E. something like that. The cat's bell jingling in the peonies here and there. And that's a quote from Kobayashi Issa, something like that. Okie dokie, here we have a nameplate page. Testing your colors here. It talks about some coloring tips. Blank sheet here. And then we get into the book. Cherry Blossom. So it must talk about the flowers in here too. Geraniums. <laughs> that fat cat fit in that pot. Hydrangeas. So yeah, they're not talking about the cats at all. They're just talking about the flowers. Chinese tulip tree, chrysanthemums, I guess the kitties aren't important, poppies, oh, I don't know how to pronounce that, Echin echinacea, lavender, fever, few. Don't know if I'm a fan of this book either. Peony, lotuses, Lotuses again. <laughs> they like that one. <laughs> what an expression on the cat's face. Birds of Paradise. Lilacs. And sunflowers. Beagaboo. <laughs> Tall bearded iris. <laughs> Oh, again, the expression on these cats' faces. Orchids and giant taro? Hmm. I don't know, but the giant taro must be umbrellas. <laughs> the kitties like their big leaves. Succulents. Daisies and English bluebells. And a Persian in the middle. Lilies, petunias, geraniums, daisies, sunflowers. 
boy, all kinds of flowers and all kinds of cats. Peninsula Conebush. He says, you can't see me. Roses. I walk among the roses. Nasturtium. <laughs> Another ones are saying pig boo. Hollyhocks. Does that go this way? Mm -hmm. This way. No, it must be this way. It's peeking out of the hollyhocks. Those could be pretty to color. Ooh. Pumpkins and mums. Mystery flowers. Okay, is there a flower called a mystery flower, or is it just saying these are all mysteries? You know, it's just a bunch of variety of... I never heard of a mystery flower, but that's not saying anything. Poppies. And another blank page. And then, oh, we have a double page spread back here. Isn't that... Oh, look at these two. <laughs> Oh, one's in trouble because it was trying to get the birds. This one's looking up saying, hey, hang on there. All oh, these pretty violets. Okay. Contact the publisher and watch for future publications at coyotepress.com. Okay. And that's the end of that one. Now, I cannot believe I, there are two cat books of Jade Summers that I did not have. So, the first one is Country Cats. Now, I am assuming um, there will be two images um, in these two books like there always is, or almost always is in Jade Summers books. It is always on Amazon paper, single-sided with the back black I always want to say background. The black reverse on the pages. So yes, Amazon paper. Hmm, <laughs> best buddies. <laughs> Cat's like, hey, how can you go outside and I can't? That's no fair. Ooh, snack time. Giddy up. <laughs> so cute. Well, cat's gonna take a bath. Didn't feel like licking itself anymore. <laughs> There's a cute Halloween one. And a Christmas one. Uh oh. Sneaking the fish. And again. It's not cooked that time. And another Christmas one. Oh, that is cute. I like that one. Three different kinds of kids. That's a hairless one, right? I'm sorry, especially if any of you have one of those, but mm, that is not a type of cat for me. <laughs> I prefer mine with soft fur. <laughs> but I know it is definitely an option for those that are allergic to cats. If you really want a cat, but you have allergies, that a hairless cat is an option, but it's just not the thing. <laughs> Oh, in bought uh, cucumbers and carrots and lettuce. Here's all things cats love. Oh, swimming pool. Uh-oh. Caught a mouse, caught a mouse. Leave it outside. Oh, trying to get some more fish. Is this the start? I can never remember. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, no. We, we started over. Sorry. 
Okay, so here starts the duplicate set. So again, that was Country Cats. Then last but not least is Cute Cats. And I thought I had this book, but I don't. <laughs> again, by Jade Summer. And again, on Amazon Paper. Oh, and here we have little thumbnails in the front. I haven't seen this in Jade Summer books before, have you? Hmm. Thumbnails of the pictures. And here we go. Aww. Now these images are all nice and big. I mean, marker would be perfect for stress-free coloring. It would take um, pencil too, though. Especially if you wanted to put... <laughs> I love that face. If you wanted to put like a marker base down and then shade in with pencils, maybe. Aww. I just, you gotta love Jade Summer books. I mean, they're just always so adorable. <laughs> you know what I should do from now on? I should look at the first picture, then go through, find that picture where the second set starts and put a little tag there. Then I would know. Because I already forgot what the first picture is. I do have uh, that kind of memory problem. I honestly do. Um, it was one with the B. Okay. Don't let me forget that. Ooh, all kinds of numbs. Mm, jamming out cat. <laughs> Looks like either a, a Robin Hood or um, uh, Indiana Jones. <laughs> no, not Robin Hood. Indiana Jones. Uh-oh. Pinocchio. <laughs> that is one big cat. Wow. <laughs> oh, yum. <laughs> I thought only opossums did that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can't put in the truck. <laughs> He's determined to get that snail, isn't he? <laughs> Ooh, playing dress up. I'm the queen. I'm the princess. That's Madison. I'm the princess. All right, that is it. Um, talks about the entire Jade Summer collection. Um, I'm not going to show this. So this must be an older version because they no longer have access to free digital uh, codes. So I don't even know if this code would work anymore. Um, probably not. I know they are, again, providing digital editions of their books, but it's not on the Jade Summer website. It's on, hmm, can't think of it right now, but I don't want to show this code just in case. Okay, then we have some sample pages in the back. I have never seen this before. So here's cute animals, cute unicorns. Has anybody seen this where they have put sample pages from a lot of, oh, what in the world? Okay, that was just in the middle <laughs> between the first and the second sets of pictures. So here I went to had to flag it. Why don't they do that all the time? That was kind of nice. Then you know when your second set of pictures start. Okay, dokie. So there's the duplicate set of pictures back there. On the back, as usual, is a few pictures from inside the book. All right. So again, Cute Cats by Jade Summer. Country Cats by Jade Summer. Cats and Flowers by Eva Carrier. Cute Cats by Juliana Emerson. Kittens and Cats by Zen Master. Happy Coloring Lovely Cats by Amanda Neal. K 
Cats Coloring Haven by Marty Noble. And last but not least is Teacup Kittens by Kaomi Harai. H-A-R-A-I. I'll just spell it. This has to be my favorite out of all of them. But Okay, okay. So there we are. I knew it was going to be a long video, but hey, you got to do what you got to do, right? Okie dokie. So I will, of course, leave links to all of these books down below in the description in case you want to have a look-see yourself and maybe get one or two. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all this cuteness overload. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I put out new videos. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day and as always, happy coloring. Bye guys.